All right, boys, welcome to a brand new video now. In today's video, as you can see from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be showing you my brother's first supercar that he bought at 22. So I'm going to pull it around, I'm going to show you around it, and we're also going to talk about some stats and figures, not 60 times, and everything like that. So yeah, if you do like the video, like and subscribe as well, and also our social medias are down in the description as well. Go check them out, give us a follow. But yeah, let's not waste any more time. I'll go drive it around, and we'll show you around. Oh my, the wind! Right, so you can see he has bought an Audi R8. It's a 4.2 litre V8 with the, I think they call it the R-Tronic gearbox, so it's not manual. Uh, it's the, got flappy paddles. It does 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. It's four wheel drive uh, and it's got 416 brake horsepower. So as you can see, he's gone with the silver on silver with the gray, um, it's like gray silver, uh, what are they called? Side blades, I think they're called. Um, and it's it's actually this is completely stock there's been two things that we've modified to it and that's the alcantara steering wheel cover and we put a new r8 badge on the back um they're the only two things that mean like, everything else is complete oem uh i think it's an 09 plate so as you would have seen the uh obviously it's got the automatic spoiler it comes up and down so when you're driving normally it comes up and down at 70 miles an hour um or you can just press a button uh, and it goes up manually like we've done okay so while we're outside i'm gonna show you guys a storage space there's a little shelf behind the seats but while we're out here um i'll open the front you just press the little button on the key uh and it opens it up hold it down and uh the storage space it's not too bad to be fair considering it's a four-wheel drive car because it's four-wheel drive it takes up a lot more room at the front um which means it is very limited but it's not too bad to be fair and you'd You'd be able to go away for a long weekend, I reckon. Depends how much you pack, you know. If you're a girl and you pack 100 shoes, then obviously this is not the car for you. But, um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to open, if you have one of these cars, is the engine bay. Now, we looked around for quite a while, and even to this day, I didn't know until two seconds ago when I just, for some reason, looked behind the seats and I found the button. So if you... I want to unlock it first. Give me a second. If you come in... Uh, it's literally driver's side, depending, I don't know what it's like in American or left-hand drive cars, but it's literally a little lever there, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, and you just flick it up like that once, and it opens the back, and then there's no catch or anything, you just lift it up, and there it is, the beast, 4.2 litre V8, what the hell is that? There's a steering wheel on it. Let me know, if you guys know what that is, please let me know, because I've never seen that on any car, a symbol with like a steering wheel on it. All right, uh, a couple other things I want to show you as well, how to open things, all right? Uh, you got... All right, I need to learn this myself as well. Oh, yeah, they're here. There's two buttons here. Here they are. So you got, again, the front one on the top and the fuel one. You just press that, and it opens for you. I don't even have to do anything. It just opens. There you go. And then I'm pretty sure you just close it there. Audi know what they're doing, mate. Okay, so in the interior, of course, we've got the Alcantara steering wheel that we've put on ourselves. It just brings it, makes it a bit more, more modern inside. And also the automatic gearbox and a few of the buttons down here. We've got the mag, the Magneto ride, um, the button to put the spoiler up and down, uh, hazards, traction control, ESP off, parking sensors. It's also got heated seat. It doesn't have Bluetooth because it is, it is an 09, so it's quite old, but it's got the AUKs and everything so you can still play your music. So that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe and let you let us know what you think of the car. Um, obviously, it's it's silver on silver, so it's to some people's taste and it's not. It's a, it's a classy spec, I'd say. But yeah, I think my brother said that he over winter he's going to sell this and get either a 7 Series or a Discovery. Um, 
but personally, I, I have no clue why. I mean, why do you not keep an R8? I think he, th I th he thinks he's 65 and, is, and he's retiring into a retirement home, you know. I don't know why you'd get rid of an R8 for a discovery, personally, but um, leave uh, comments down below what you think, like I said, and also leave a like and subscribe as well. Check out all the socials. They're all down there as well. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.